chance to step back in time and experience what life was like on one of the most famous ships, maybe the most famous ship in history, the Titanic. That's right, and there's a special exhibition that's now open. Mark Locke and Kathy, Kathy Gentry are here to tell us about the exhibit um, there with our partners, the Sloan Museum in Flint. Now, I'm so nervous around this stuff. We were just talking about this off camera because I can't believe that this was from the Titanic, right? Yeah, there's a uh, hundred artifacts that are in the exhibition, over a hundred, and we've brought some that kind of represent the exhibit in a small way here today, but these are from the wreck of the Titanic two and a half miles down. So how did you get them? Well, uh, it's a very uh, precise process, obviously. Yeah. At the same time, we're working two and a half miles below the ocean surface with robotic uh, arms in a submersible. It was my great yeah. honor to, to do that, to go down to the wreck oh of the Titanic goodness. and help recover some of these pieces. Wow, so tell us about some of the things that we yeah. have here. I don't even know what that is. Well, this is a wooden tool handle. Okay. And um, what's amazing about anything organic, uh, you can see here, is that it survives so well. Mm. Right? For 105 years now. These were, were recovered a little before that. Is that the pressure of the water or was it locked up in a space or why is it so pristine Not so looking? much locked up, but anything in leather. It turns out that a leather suitcase or a leather mm. wallet, oh. the tanning process, the oils that are used actually repel the microorganisms that otherwise would eat away at that or something amazing, right? You're looking at a, a, a $2 bill uh, from the rec site but inside of leather. Just wow. And Kathy, yeah. pipe in here because yeah. this exhibit, for this to be in Flint, it's a huge deal because it's been it's been seen by tens of millions of people Absolutely. across the world. And this is the same exhibit, a very similar exhibit that has been uh, here in Detroit, over in Boston, I mean all over the place. Each place is um, specially curated for each location depending on conditions of items. So that's, this is by far the biggest exhibit Sloan Museum has ever, ever had. This is really oh, cool. exciting. Now, what, 40 million people have seen this stuff, yes. right? What do you think is the draw? I think part of the lure is because the ship was promoted so heavily before it even set sail. Mm -hmm. And then within 30 days of the sinking, there was a movie already made about it. Uh, Dorothy Gibson was actually an actress that was on the ship. She performed uh, in, a, in a movie wearing the clothes that she survived in. So, I mean, yeah. right from the get-go, it's been a historic... Uh, event that has just touched everyone's hearts. But this exhibit is more than just things on display. Tell us about it. It's all about the stories of the people. So every person that comes will get a boarding pass um, from Titanic and on the back there's actually information about a person that was actually on the exhibit. So this wow. boarding pass is actually for Miss Annie Funk and she is 38 years old. Wow. So and if one of the interesting things if you were a woman you were not Kathy Gentry, you were Mrs. Andrew Gentry. And then in the parentheses on the rest of the boarding pass, it was Kathy Gentry. So it's just one of those very interesting things. So here's, I'm fascinated because I'm, is that yep. a button off of somebody's coat? Well, somebody, an officer aboard the Titanic, we don't know who, but you can once again see that white star line logo. Let me turn that around and we'll see. And you're telling me with a submarine, some little arm comes out and you're able to grab that or is that vacuumed out or what? So we use vacuum for something yeah. like this piece of china that we can show next, but in this case it was inside of a leather bag again. Oh, wow. wow. So whenever th anything leather, because of what we talked about, things are well preserved inside, but also we know there's a personal story. Yeah. You know? yeah. And, and that's what these boarding passes do too, right? Exactly. It personalizes the experience. Absolutely. That's and right. you've got one more of the coffee mug you've been using since the top of the Show well, not using, them. display. Display, right. yes. <laughs> right. you know, I did want some coffee. Yeah. <laughs> no to this. Uh, every uh, class aboard the Titanic had its own china. And a first, second, and third is we know the rich and famous were aboard the Titanic, part of the allure of this story. Yeah. But the simple immigrants, you know, we talk so much about immigrants mm -hmm. today coming to the United States with their hopes and dreams. This was a third class mug with the white star line logo. The reason for that is there were sister ships to the oh. Titanic and they didn't want to say Titanic on one, Olympic on the other, Britannic on the other. So they were all the same with the white star line. Love it. Fascinating. Such history stuff. behind every yeah. single little piece. We love it. Thank you guys yeah. so much. Good to see you. Titanic, the artifact exhibition is at the Slow Museum in Flint. Now through May 21st of this year, advanced recommend, I mean, advanced reservations are definitely recommended. For tickets and more information, visit the website sloanmuseum.org slash Titanic. Exciting. Hey, Jason.